But um, we've got another segment here. We haven't done this in a while. Um, the retro rental review of smoothed it out. Um, we're gonna look at some cover art. You guys tell me the one movie you want to pick, and then we'll watch the trailer who see who got the best one. So um, let me pull okay. this up here. And these are from eighty two or eighty three, I believe. Um, can you see that, fellows? Fellows. Uh, uh, now I can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I can now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna scan through these. Uh, Randy, I'll let you. I'll let you pick out first. Okay. Oh, to, is there a way I can make it bigger? Is that better? Is that better for you? That's good. I can see it good. Smaller, yeah. But I'm cool either way. Okay, you got a night to dismember, lust, betrayal, and dismemberment. Whoop, skipped one. Whoop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Angst, based on a true story. It's a home invasion. You got brain waves. That stars uh, Tony Curtis and Vera Miles. Don't go to sleep. Made for television, deluxe edition. Jekyll and Hyde together again. Uh, I saw a clip from that. Seems fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, Julie Darling. She's sweet 16 and she simply loves her daddy. That's weird. Sybil yeah. Danning, though. There you go. Oh, if, you hey. like, if you like uh, Howling 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, midnight. Madness begins when the this. clock strikes 12. I haven't heard of any of these. I have actually owned that <laughs> yeah. one. That you got to take a shot. Thing. Murder by phone, you know. A madman pushes a button and kills by phone. Would you answer? Yes. Night of the Zombies. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very simple. They <laughs> eat living. This is Olivia. You see, oh. Olivia, a housewife traumatized as a child by the murder of her mother, seeks relief from an abusive husband by moonlighting as a prostitute. Begins killing her customers. Holy Lomel, huh? Yeah. Directed by Uli Lamel. Yeah, we've heard of this one. Hey. We reviewed this one a while back. I like it. John does not. I do not. <laughs> heard that. that was boring. That was fucking boring. Well, I kind of agree with that. Whoops. Well, we got the old uh, Phantom of the Opera here. Terror of the Phantom. Uh, Maximilian Schell, uh, Jane Seymour, Michael York. Huh. The Alchemist, Robert Gint Ginty, goes beyond That's the revenge cool of cover. the Exterminator. Yeah. That looks interesting. Yeah. Ooh, The Entity. Ooh. That's a good one. That That's a great good. movie. <laughs> I, I want to own that VHS. That looks uh, <laughs> it's classic. They really the Hereafter. Yeah. The Hereafter, where only the dead survive. The house on Sorority Row. We've also reviewed that one in the past. I don't think I've seen that cover. Trial by Terror. Videodrome. We've done that one as well. Vultures. It'll eat you alive. I haven't seen this, but I've seen it a lot of places. Extro. Anybody seen that one? I have it. I, I don't think so. Well, what do you I say, guys? Brand, Brandy, what what are you picking? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna go with Night of the Zombies. Night of the Zombies. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've never <laughs> heard of that one, and it looks cool. Like this is something. If I was in the movie, you know, the old movie store, I would have picked up and. Oh, buddy, it. don't yeah. listen. Yeah. It's. <laughs> it's it's like um, Cruel Jaws, but with zombies. A mash, <laughs> it's a mashup of different films. With oh, very okay. Little, very little original stuff. I gotcha. Yeah. Let's see. Fun, because it's like greatest hits. But right. It's like yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would. Have, I guess I guarantee I would have had a good time with this. I can tell. Oh no, dude! It's yeah. super fun. <laughs> I'm yeah. just telling you, don't. Expect. Are we watching the trailer now? Oh, I was trying to play it, but I was going. Huh? You guys couldn't see it, could you? No. no yeah, weird. Yeah. Can you see that? 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Do you believe in zombies? Nine. Two mysterious deaths and a scientist's horrific secret bring a CIA operative face to face with the living dead. Wait a minute, I'm thinking, I must be thinking of a different movie. Nick <laughs> you finally caught up with us. Who am I addressing? Colonel Orville Prescott, U.S. Army Chemical Corps, Special Unit C. Zombies? We find that word very distasteful. Zombies, an army of dead men brought back to life by a bizarre experiment. A monstrous master race roaming the earth in search of living human flesh to satisfy their ghoulish appetites. One man holds the key to the earth's <laughs> salvation as the undead begin a march of conquest and the night of the zombies falls. Damn. Dude, yeah. I swear to that dude, that, that dude, that last guy they showed, <coughs> I swear to God he's a porn star. No, no problem. Fair to God, he was an '80s film star. That looks like one. I take it back that I would have rented and then took back and said the videotape did not work and got my money. Back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thing I thought was weird is you know like that level of uh, of military that deals with zombies is only like C. Well, it wouldn't you think that'd be further down the alphabet? You know, yeah. C's pretty early on. Yeah. You, you got foreign affairs. Like what else? Did, <laughs> <laughs> zombies is only. Three? Foreign, foreign, <laughs> foreign intelligence. <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah. man. laughs> oh, yeah. you know what I was thinking of? Hell of the Living Dead. Oh, that's okay. That's the one. Bruno Mattei and Claudio Fragasso, Italian, oh, yeah. you know, directors. That those are. It's those two things. Matched. It's kind of the same cover, ain't it? Looks a lot of. A lot I feel of, like they the used it. That I feel like they, they might. I think they both that. have a like a cartoon looking zombie on it. I don't know. Yeah. All right, John. Uh, you I swear let's, it was that. Let's, let's get your pick, John. Wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Go back to Night of the Zombies. Go back to Night of the Zombies. So this imagery mm -hmm. on the back, that is the Italian version. That's from that. Look at that. That wasn't what we saw. The trailer. <laughs> Look at those. Those zombies are way Did different. we watch the wrong trailer? I think we did. But you know I'm, what? At this store, yeah. that's it's got the wrong tape in it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. wrong tape. Yeah. Yeah, they got a bootleg or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens when you, when, when you, go, <laughs> you go to Mama and Papa's store instead of. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't cycle our tapes properly. Yeah. None of them are rewound. <laughs> so what you are you going what? with? I, I'd go with, I'd go with uh, Midnight. I, I own it. I only watched it once, and that was years and years and years and years and years ago. Okay. Let's find that one. I'll pull that up. What year do you think this is? Because I don't remember. <laughs> 1982. Yeah, must be. John Russo, is it? Oh, the whole movie? The whole movie's on there. John Russo. Okay, guys. Oh wow! Okay, this is a good quality. At least we got that going for us. Nineteen, Nancy seventeen, and Hank twenty-one. Oh. Time for a while, but now they're missing. It all started as innocent fun: the van, the drinking, the turn-ons, until they crossed the county line. They cross the line into a lonely community where anything can happen, where anyone can disappear without a trace. This is and totally on the page of John Russo's best-selling novel, the story becomes a motion picture, Midnight. And Madman Mars. <laughs> I thought I saw shoes sticking out from under that blanket. Nah, he was just a big farmer with a bundle. Your mind's playing tricks on you, girl. You're all shook up. As soon as we find a good campsite, we'll smoke some of this good hash and loosen you up. <laughs> Hold it there, fellas. Don't you make any foolish <coughs> Keep your hands visible. You reach for anything inside that bag, and I won't wait to see what you're reaching for. I'll just shoot. 
Maybe we we'll, uh, drag them out in the woods one at a time. Question them separately. Good idea. Okay. I yeah, I don't know. I, I was, I'm intrigued. It wasn't over. <laughs> yeah. it was, oh, it wasn't over. Through. It's a three minute trailer. We're we're done. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, there's like a whole like redneck co- killers thing and stuff. Yeah. Well, we gotta watch the trailer. Come on, Frank. Give me you the trailer watch now. The rest. Yeah. Of the... Oh, well, right, just, yeah. Give me something. We're, we're halfway through. Uh, oh, let me get back up. We can get through it. I, th- I honestly thought it was winding down. The guy was pointing the gun at the screen for goddamn eternity. <laughs> That's where I would have ended my trailer right there. That's pretty cool. You would in a minute and a half. Yeah. It's from 81. They made their own rules back then. <laughs> What'd you do with my daughter? Holy shit, it's a guy from uh, Reservoir Dogs. Nice right in front. Yeah. dozen people found dead around here just in the past couple of years since I came here to preach. Some look like accidents, some obviously murdered. It's all right, Sam. Right. Take your boy along. Get the road and watch it, right. I'm looking on you, black woman. Which one of you owns this van? <laughs> I do. Okay, take your six pack, get in the van, get out of town, now. You heard the van? <laughs> oh, get out of town. We don't need your camera That's out here. Pittsburgh. Hey. Don't look for the hashish. They should have known better when they came into town. Every sign pointed to what could happen there. Every indication told them to leave now. The wise guys in the bar, the preacher's warning, and the sheriff who made hate a way of life. Go, get out of town. We don't want your kind here. But they stayed. They stayed, and it became too late to leave. (laughs) Too late as the clock approached midnight. Midnight. Now the book from the co-author of Night of the Living Dead comes to life on the screen. Don't miss John Russo's Midnight. Man, if there's anything I'd want to ask John Russo about more, I can't imagine what it'd be. Like, did you sign on for that? Was that <coughs> they really put your name all over it? <laughs> really? Yeah, I thought he directed it. I don't know. I thought he just wrote it. <laughs> it's from the best-selling novel, oh, they well. said, of, of his, with his name on it. Using his name to sell it, that's for sure. I'd watch it, don't oh. get me wrong. Yeah, I think I'm going to check that one out. It looks like a lot of really bad fun acting. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jason, what's up for you? I don't remember the name of it, but I said it had a cool cover. Just keep flipping through it when I see it all. Oh, yeah, it had the, the eyes and shit. Yeah, on, just like right? peeking out. Oh, that the alchemist. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's watch that. Let's see. I'll get the right one. Because that's exactly how I picked out my movies, the ones that mm-hmm. look the coolest. Mm-hmm. It's the only <laughs> way to do it. Alchemist. Oh boy, we gotta. You know who? You know who's involved with this one, right? Who's that? Our old friend from Full Moon, uh, Charles Band. Band. Oh, Charles. Oh. Is it Charles Band? Yeah, Charles Band. Yeah, director. Charles Band. Yeah, he's the leader. Yeah, the head of the company. The leader. The leader. <laughs> the leader. Oh my cult. Cult the Full Moon. <laughs> <laughs> 100 years ago, a man passed through the gates of hell and paid the price of eternal damnation. Robert Ginter, the exterminator, ignites the fires of fear once again in The Alchemist. Old magicians turn red into gold. This is what they tell them when they die. Oh, they really do. Changing themselves. <laughs> you saw in that dream. He's real. How do I make you 
you understand that you've been drawn into this? Can't escape. A century-old curse. The reincarnation of a sacrificed love. And a final battle between the demons of darkness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Black magic. The Alchemist. Robert Ginty goes beyond the revenge of the exterminator. In The Alchemist, he will defy the devil on earth or in hell. The Alchemist. Is that Talia Shire? The Looks like her. Yeah, look like her. Oh, no, that that Robert Ginty or whatever the dude's name is looked like Dave Thomas's fucking stunt double or some shit. <laughs> From uh, Strange Brew. Yeah, SCTV. SCTV. It was he on SCTV? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was SCTV. Not the Wendy's guy. All right, well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pick that uh, Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> uh together again i think i because... posted a clip of this uh, the other day i saw it on uh you or not youtube uh tiktok <clears throat> somehow probably on tiktok right it was, the, yeah. it was the clip where he was like uh he's yelling like, at the grocery store about his, was, <laughs> yeah. he had an erection yeah. or something and, yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> find well, he's, he's gets in the 10 items or less thing and he counts oh. and he's got 11 items. <laughs> he goes, 11 <laughs> items? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably guess, uh, funnier you telling it than it actually is. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, all I could find is the 32nd 1982 TV trailer. So that's what we're going to watch. Well, that's what we got. That's what we got. And that's what we're going to go with. So TV trailer time. So they make it full screen so we can really get the experience. <clears throat> All I can tell you is that something unexpected and horrible is happening to me. I change into another person. An animal. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll? <laughs> yes, I am Dr. Jekyll. It's Jekyll and Hyde together again. The comedy that examines modern living through chemistry. Rated R. Oh man, that was nice. now playing National Westwood Chinese Hollywood in theaters near you. Hey, that's nice. Hey. It's coming soon. Okay, so who do you think had the best pick there? Not you. Nah. <laughs> not you. I know it's not you. I liked the Alchemist a lot, but I also liked one John picked too. So I guess I would go with the Alchemist though, because. That was the one I, I would. It looks like I had better acting. <laughs> so that's it's a I full would. moon, so you, you're going to get that at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 